Danny Jimenez, just his 10th game this season. First time Jimenez is going to take the ball and start the game. Fighting the sun, Rooker is there to make the catch. Got to hurry the throw with a fast man running and job done by Allen. Good stretch by Carlos at the other end. Now ground ball to second right to Geloff. It throws to first for the out and the Royals go down one, two, three. It's going to be the southpaw Angel Zerpa for the Kansas City Royals. Just his sixth game overall. This is his second opening responsibility. So Jonah got plunked on the foot. And he just finds a way to create, and this time he's on base with the walk, putting two on with nobody out for Carlos Perez. The left, and Velasquez is there. Now he faces Brent Rooker, last night's hero for the A's. And he ropes one into left center field, and that is in the alley. The A's score first. Brent Rooker delivers again. It's 1-0 Oakland, 54 RBIs for Rooker. Stay hot, Rook. Now Ledmus Diaz will stand in. And Ledmus hits a fly ball to right that's playable. Water is toward the line to make the catch. Geloff is tagging, coming to the plate. Here's the throw to the plate. It's offline, and the A's lead 2-0. Sack fly to right that wasn't that deep. Diaz foul tips into his Salvi's mitt. Strike three. Good change up from Serpa. Ends the bottom of the first. It's Salvador Perez to lead off the top of the second. The pitch. Salvi laces it over to second base, bag and down into center field, a base hit. First Royals base runner and hit tonight. Melendez hits it on the ground, back up the middle, a base hit into center field. Melendez is on it first. High and outside, ball four. So Waters draws the walk. It's up to Kyle Isbell now, who's been really good over the last month and change with runners in scoring position. Isbell lines it back up the middle, base hit into center field. Kyle Isbell ties the game early with a two-run, two-out, bases loaded single. Shea Langoliers will lead things off. And that is drilled down the left field line, and he got another one. Shea Langoliers, it's number 13. And the A's are back ahead three to two. That got out of here in a hurry. And here's the pitch to Ruiz in a five ball left field. Back on it, Velasquez has a play near in the track, circling under it. He's there to make the catch. Swung on and missed, strike three. Beat him with a 95 mile an hour fastball. And that ends the bottom of the second. Ultimately, Carlos Perez is safe at first base. 2-1, Rooker smashes it through the left side, a base hit into left field. Rooker's on at first, he's two for two tonight. Here's Diaz, a sack fly in the first. And that is a fair ball off the A's bullpen and in play. Perez and Rooker home, a double for Diaz, 5-2 Oakland. Here's the pitch. Check swing, doesn't matter. Changeup hits the outside corner, called strike three. And that ends the bottom of the third inning. They'll face a new Royals pitcher, who is not a new Royals pitcher. His name is Zach Grinke, but he's in a new role, at least a role he hasn't had in a long time coming into a game in relief. Down on strikes, and that's the first time he has struck out Esteri Ruiz. So Grinke ahead of this batter, one ball, two strikes. Geloff, nine homers in his first 32 career games. That's most in A's history in that span. And there's a swing and a miss and a changeup down. And Zach Grinke strikes out a pair in that fourth inning and keeps the A's off the board. We go to inning number five. Oakland leading this game five to two. So the leadoff man reaches base here in the Royals' fifth inning. A walk, 2 0 oh in the pitch. And a swing, fly ball. Hit fairly deep to center. Ruiz going back to the warning track. He'll make the catch right in front of the fence. No, he dropped it. And now Garcia had to hold up before he could run. He'll stop at third base. And Massey's into second. Salvi's up there. Second and third. One out. And the pitch is lined up the middle. There's a base hit. A two-run single for Salvador Perez. He drives in his 56th and 57th on the year. And the Royals are within one. They're down five to four. Carlos Perez. He'll face Zach Grinke out to work his for the second inning. One two breaking ball and there's a foul tip strikeout right into the mid of Salvador Perez. And how about Grinke? Here's the next one and a swing and a miss. And Zach Grinke strikes out Brent Rooker. That's four strikeouts for Grinke. One one and a swing and a popper on the right side of the infield. Matt Duffy the first baseman in on the infield grass. He will make the catch. And how about Grinke with a one two three inning number five. I mean having a pretty good go this season. Two on two out. See if Kirby can escape this. Just like he will. Geloff will take it himself, and that will do it in the seventh. We'll stretch at the Coliseum. A's up by one.
And Granke's retired eight in a row. And he's done so really efficiently. And Granke's now thrown 38 pitches, 28 for strikes. 2-2 two -two again. Breaking ball rolled softly to the right side. Massey backhands, flips to win, sling to first, in time, got him! Whoa! What a play by the Royals infield! Michael Massey moved to his right, picked it up on a backhand, a glove flip to Bobby Witt Jr. right next to him, and Bobby completed the play. Zach is over two with two Ks, swings to the first pitch, dribbles up the third baseline, gonna be a tough play for Garcia. Bare hand throw to first, not in time. And Geloff beats it out for an infield single and a six game hitting streak. Off and running from his knees, Salvi throws. And not in time. That's number eight for Zach Geloff. Payoff pitch again. Curveball. Swung on and missed. Strike three. Granke slowed him down and got him to swing right through it. Top of the eighth inning. Drew Waters at the plate. By Snead. Ready on the way. Waved it. Down he goes. An inside breaky ball. Good pitch. And here's the pitch by Snead. Bouncy ball. Comebacker. Right through Snead. It's taken by Nick Allen. He throws the first for the out. That's the last out of the eighth inning, top half. It's the ace turn to their veteran closer, Trevor May. Infield to pull, Ismail, a left-handed hitter. May throws, and it's swung on and blooped on the infield in a second. Geloff coming in, he's there, and he makes the catch. Ismail has popped out. That'll bring up Michael Garcia. It's a tough out, but he's ready. Here it is. Outside corner, ring him up. Garcia in disbelief. Now he is not happy at all, and the plate umpire Nick Lentz says one more word, and now Garcia walks away. So it's two away in the ninth, and here's Bobby Witt Jr., and Witt's 0 for 4. This should do it. Nick Allen waits, and he will squeeze it. And the A's have won back-to-back -back games against the Royals.